Here we are, we're back in the UP of Michigan, Menominee County, with our good buddy Dean Hulse. Dean, thank you so much You're welcome. for You're letting welcome. us join you this week. It's been great. So exciting. We've uh, got, what, I think five hunts under our belt now, day three of mm -hmm. hunting. So tomorrow will be day four, we'll head home in a, a day, what, tomorrow's our last day of Tomorrow hunting. Tomorrow's our last day. Yeah, we gotta, get it done but a couple bucks down but uh we're just extremely grateful that dean had uh offered an invite for us to come join him in his camp and uh this camp is just beautiful and so i asked dean if he could give us you know a little background on this camp and a, a quick tour uh a, as you know we've been doing some different uh deer camp tours and, and posting those and dean what what can you tell us about your camp here well this is our family's third camp since I was a boy. Okay. We started with an old log cabin that was really run down, moved into a new cabin that we had built um, years ago and ended up selling that because I was, Linda and I were the only ones really using it anymore. And we went a couple years without a camp and then the house we're in now was our camp. Okay. And then we built this about five or six years ago and um, God has really blessed us. It was, it's way better than I expected it when I drew it. Um, and uh, it's turned out great, and it's been a great opportunity for sharing. You know, it's, it started out as family camp. I grew up in the UP, living a UP boy's dream. Um, I always thought maybe someday I could hunt for a living. Sure. And uh, God blessed me with that way beyond, and uh, been able to do ministry and a living with outdoors. Sure. All these racks on the wall, I, I assume you didn't get these at a garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Most all these that you see here are, um, are UP bucks. Most of them taken on, on the leases here in the last uh, 25 or 30 years. Um, there's actually one right behind you that came from right by your camp. Oh, no That, that came okay. right, right by your camp. So yeah, most of these are my kids, uh, grandkids, and my wife. And, um, more my wife's my wife's got a few on this wall, but you know where her bucks are at in the house. Oh yeah, and in that corner there, she's got some great ones. So. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, wow, beautiful box, beautiful camp. Um, so before you kind of give us the walkthrough tour here, um, you do some some ministry out of this camp, don't you? We do. We actually do a lot of ministry, but one of the main things that we've really um, about ten years ago. Um, because of a mix-up with some paperwork, we uh, the the camp we have that's our house now, we had um, almost let it go, okay. and um, and when we decided to keep it through a friend, mutual friend of ours, Shorty, said you can't sell the camp because it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here today at a pivotal pivotal point in his life. Anyhow, at that point, we decided everything we're going to do is ministry including the camp. And uh, so one of the things we do, besides we do some disabled youth hunts and Purple Heart Vets, but we also care for pastors. And um, we've got some churches that send their pastors and um, you know they give 24-7, 365 days a year. And it's a, it's a hard life. The only thing harder than a pastor's life is a pastor's wife's life. And, uh, so this is kind of an escape for them. We did it in Colorado for a while. Had a ministry there called High Impact Outdoors, which I still have. And uh, we do it in South Dakota and we do it here. And it's really a time for them just to go be guys. They don't have to, they don't have to worry about other people. They can just rest and, and refresh. We say it, we have the full armor of God and it's a time when they can take their arm off, armor off, take the dents out of it, polish it back up and get back into their, into their ministry. Such a need for that. Yeah, there really is. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, if you would, give us, give us a little tour of the, the camp here. Well, I don't know who these guys that are here, but it's messy. So we'll have to, <laughs> these but, guys uh, are very We messy. can start at the front door, I guess. So, um, this is an interesting piece, by the way. I don't know if you, I shot a mountain lion on a hunt, and Linda killed her first elk on that same hunt, and this we picked up there. And I forget it's there, to be honest with you. I kind of take everything for granted. Huh? But this, this room was an afterthought after we had this all built. But this is a, it's a mud room, um, place where everybody can hang their stuff and 
put their boots and dry out and there's a that's we're also the place where most of the european mounts mounts end up <laughs> on the walls so oh yeah sure um, but it's a uh it, that was an afterthought the wall ended here we said no we, we got room so we threw that wall up and, and did this and it turned out pretty great so Nice. Here we've got the kitchen and dining room, and it's fully a fully stocked kitchen. Um, I've never slept out here, but I have eaten meals here and cooked a few meals out here. Um, and it is right in our backyard, so I can go across the yard. The living room you've seen with the mounts, and, and uh, it's a great place for relaxing. It's a very comfortable place. Uh, one thing I should mention is, just to get myself a, a plug, is we do rent it out for the rest of the year for snowmobilers you know they take our off right here from the take off the yard the roads open it's a mile up they're on the trail system same thing with ATVers and golfers and we get a lot of other people here so okay I, so so if somebody wanted to rent us some snowmobile yeah. owners, or if a church wanted to send their pastor or something like that what what would be the kind of the best way for them to get in touch you think um, they can probably the best way to, to get a hold of me is either email um, which is dean at outdoormarketing.org. Um, and I'll put that in the description yeah. as well. And uh, or they can get a hold of you off of your site, and, mm -hmm. and you can pass them on to me. Um, yep. Or also um, I, the other thing that we're just starting is taking over uh, God's Great Outdoors Radio, and all of the podcasts and everything goes with that. And there'll be more information on that website here soon. So, so yeah, it's 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 a nice getaway. It's relaxing. It's comfortable. Um, most people, when you say it, we call it the bunkhouse, and I think they're expecting this little shack out in the back. It's a little nicer than the little shack out in the back. So. Yeah, a little upgrade from the old uh, Camp Benny trailer, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to look like, but yeah, we'll see. It is. Yep. So the place has four bedrooms, um, all with either three or four beds, and uh, they all have some pretty nice antler lamps in there. So if you watched the last video that we put out where I tagged out on the seven point, you would get a glimpse of each of these bedrooms too. I'll leave this door closed, but it's very similar to the bedroom you just saw there. There's shoulder mounts and it's got three beds in it. Got a full bath on either side here. Shower, toilet, sink, and everything on this side and another one straight Same across. Same thing, everything, everything is pretty much mirrored. This room has got actually a little bigger room. The one behind us has got bunk beds in it as well. So it'll sleep 13, which is, uh, especially for, you know, we, we also have had some some boys group out of Wisconsin that have come up and used it for weekends, like and some men's okay. groups that have used it. And it's, uh, it's a nice place yeah. to be able to hang out. There's great fishing in the area too. And I'd like to do more of that with pastors especially. So, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's very comfortable. I, I enjoy it. You know, we enjoy it. We enjoy hosting. If we didn't enjoy it, we wouldn't do it. Right on. So, yeah. Another bedroom behind Dean that's just like the one that you just saw there. I uh, would show you this restroom, but for your sake, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll skip Someone's there. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in use. Um, one thing I'm not sure that we touched on, uh, just uh, uh, roughly how many... Uh, acres do you have? Yeah, we've been leasing land here in Menominee County for 30, this is my 34th year. Okay. And um, right now we're at between 2,500 and 3,000. We've mm -hmm. had as much as 4,500. Actually in the UP I've had as much as 10,000 at one time or another. And, um, but now we're about, um, you know, about 3,000 give or take. And we've managed it. Um, we do, we have some, some fairly strict rules, but we do bend them on occasion for the right people in the right situations it's uh right we try to go we try to go eight points or better and there's we don't care about brow tines if it has them or not as long as it's legal and it's got it's we're really looking for two-year-old bucks and up so my understanding is uh you know dean and his family and and other members of the camp they've been managing these properties for upwards of 30 years um but it's, it, this isn't contiguous acres, this isn't a ranch, it's not high fence, it's all just fair chase, you know, farm country, yeah. big woods, private landowners that Dean has connections and relationships with. Yeah, and at least, yeah, we've got a lot of landowners we've worked with. There's a couple landowners, like I said, for 34 years we've had the same properties. Wow. This year, unfortunately, we've had 
tremendous heat wave and uh you're the only one that hasn't seen a shooter i think not yet so it's been uh and last year you filled out quick and so you're paying yep. the price now but uh you know we've, we've got uh, it, absolutely and you know the the stands you're on we've got them on camera right now so just yeah. matter of popping out in the daylight when you're there at a stand so it's um you know our hunting doesn't get any worse as the season goes on with snow sometimes it gets much better yeah we're just fighting we're fighting 50 plus degree temps right now so okay well thank you so much uh, again for hosting us you know, he's such a wonderful host food is amazing all accommodations everything but um you know your your friendship most most of all is just yeah. Uh, been wonderful. Yeah, I'm glad right. we, we met a few years ago and just uh, really grown to yeah. great friendship. A lot of good things come out of social media even besides the bad stuff so it's been yeah. great. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, right on. Okay, so we'll put you know, all the means of uh, getting a hold of Dean. You can either reach out to me and I can pass things along or I'll have uh, his contact information in the description. Bye-bye.